Way 31 Storm Tracker Forecast. That heat out there is nothing to play with today no. for people and their pets. Right. If you are planning on taking your pet for a walk, do not do it within the next couple right. of hours. Make sure you wait and do it when the sun goes down. Temperatures today going to be hot, especially our feels like temperatures. The temperature that our actual temperatures are going to be in the orange. Now our heat index values, which is our feels like temperatures, going to be in the red. Now you see our heat index is going to be nearing 105 degrees. So if you're going to be outdoors today, it's going to be a hot one. Make sure you're staying hydrated, taking breaks from the sun. We are under a moderate to major heat impact for all of us here in the Tennessee Valley. So again, make sure you're practicing your heat safety. And if you think today's hot, well, just wait until tomorrow. This is new about 30 minutes ago. The, Nas er, the National Weather Service has put us under a heat advisory for tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. because of heat index values from 100 to 5 to 109 degrees. So it's about to get very hot tomorrow. 105 feeling like in Muscle Shoals, 103 in Decatur, 100 in Gunnersville, 101 here in Huntsville. We're also going to be dodging some showers as we go throughout the afternoon today and into tomorrow. Although today we're going to be staying mostly dry. If we do see a shower, it's going to be very short lived, but it could dump some heavy rainfall on us. And going into tonight, we'll be staying dry. Now going into tomorrow morning, we'll be waking up dry. But as we go into the afternoon hours, this is when we can start to see some scattered showers in the Tennessee Valley. Again, very short lived, but they could dump some heavy rain as well as bring some lightning. And as we go into the evening hours, should be remaining dry with some partly cloudy skies. Now, taking a look at the tropics, this has been updated since the last time we talked to you. Uh, next 48 hours has a 40% chance of developing. Now, that's new from yesterday. And then in the next seven days, again, 40% chances of development. The area in the shaded region is where we could expect anywhere that this storm could turn into a tropical development or perhaps our next storm. And this graphic is going to be a lot to look at. This is spaghetti plots, but basically are a lot of models that can show us where the storm can potentially start to travel to. Now, most in agreement that we're going to be traveling along the Gulf and then up to Louisiana and Arkansas, but some of them do have it in going through Alabama, which we're, if we do see any impacts from the storm, it's likely just to be an increase in rain chances as we go into Friday and Saturday. So nothing to be worried about, but if you are taking a trip on vacation to the Gulf in the latter part of the work week, this weekend into the weekend. Definitely something to keep your eye on and make sure you're checking back in for details. Tonight will be in the mid 70s, mild humid, but staying dry. And then tomorrow again, we are going to be hot. Temperatures warming it to the mid 90s. Heat index values nearing, if not exceeding the triple digits. We'll keep these warm temperatures as we go throughout the rest of the work week and into the weekend. Rain chances remain on the uh, slider side, but again, still could see some pop up afternoon showers due to the peak heating of the day. And otherwise, the main story, the heat and the humidity. We yeah, have both out there right now. Yeah. It is incredibly hot and steamy. Yes, it is, for sure. Laney, thank you. When we come back.